Welcome back to this channel for Praxis Problems for Actuarial Exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostaszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smarturl.it forward slash pass. This video channel is at smarturl.it forward slash pass actuarial exams. Here you have information about online seminars and study manuals for exams P, FM, IFM, and LTAM that I offer. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about me at smarturl. I'm s at about that program. I'm sorry, at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. Mm, and if you would like to offer a tax deductible donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's a problem for today for exam FM, uh, financial mathematics. An annuity having n payments of 1 has a present value of x. The first payment is made at the end of 3 years, and the remaining payments are made at 7 year intervals thereafter. Determine x, and you have to determine x as one of those formulas. Remember, x is the present value of all these payments. And here's the solution. Well, we just write out what the payments are in terms of present value, and they are v to the third plus v to the tenth plus v to the seventeenth, and so on, adding seven years. And the last one will be v to the seven uh, n minus four then the v to the third is the one that you get when n equals 1, right? 7 minus 4 is 3. When n equals 2, is you get v to the tenth. When n equals 3, you get v to the seventeenth, and so on. So the uh, number of payments is n. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on through n. Um, and uh, that's the same as v to the v cubed, if we pull it out in front, and what is left inside is a partial sum of a geometric series, which must be equal to um, 1 minus v to the 7n over 1 minus v to the 7th. And that's because the uh, what you get when you pull out v cubed um, and take all the rest multiplied by it, all that rest will be 1 plus v to the 7th plus v to the 2 times 7 and so on up to v to the n minus 1 times uh, 7 um, and because the first term is 1 um, that's n terms and that's a partial sum of a geometric series which for which the formula is um, 1 minus um, v to the seventh to the nth uh, over 1 minus v to the seventh because v to the seventh is the ratio of the geometric series. And now we do a bit of a trick here and we uh, write this um, as um, uh, v to the third kind of restored to its position uh, times 1 and minus v to the mm, uh, third times v to the 7n, so that's v to the 7n plus 3. So we can write this as um, a v to the third minus v to the 7n plus 3, but instead we write it as 1 minus v to the 7n plus 3 minus the quantity 1 minus v to the third, uh, and then each of those two separately divide by delta and divide the bottom by delta. Then that becomes a angle 7n plus 3 minus a angle 3 over a angle 7, and that's answer b. Please remember this is copyrighted material. The problem itself belongs to a society of actuaries. The solution is mine. Good luck in your studies, and good luck on the test. 